with our last story and I've got another one for you today and it is called Sky Color and it's by Peter Reynolds. Marissa was an artist. She loved to draw and paint and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share her ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So, when her teacher told the class that they were going to paint a mural for the school library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. There they are, the pink class, you see what they're going to do. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through her box of paints, but she could not find any blue. How was I going to make the sky without blue paint, she thought. Make sure you're completely confused. The bell rang and it was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out of the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. What's happening to the sky? Look at that. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colours. The colours mixed, making many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue, and she smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colours. This one and that one. She swirled the brush to mix them all together. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what colour is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky colour. And there, look, is their beautiful painting of all the lovely colours in the sky. Have a think now, has there ever been a time that you've wanted to do something, but you haven't had it? If you wanted to make a kite, but you had no string, how could you have got over that? Do you give up, or do you keep going on? It was lovely to read to you again, and I hope to see you all soon.